Uh, let me select all of those. And let me select all of those. Let me merge those together. And then let me also just make sure they're all the same color. So the casing is going to be sort of a, a grayish color. The support's going to be white. That should be fine. And if we look here, server zero is now the distro server, which is good. I'm actually quite surprised we maxed out that server. Let's have a little look at distribution real quick. Oh, yeah, it's it's getting up there. Over 50% of the digital market share was us, which I think is amazing stuff. I think that's really, really good. Uh, so why are people starving then? Do we just not have... I guess we maybe don't have enough cooks. So let's try a thing here. Let's let's try uh, manage staff. Let's go to cooks. I think we only have four of them, don't we? Yeah, that's probably the problem. So let me dismiss my cooks here. If I can. Doesn't seem to... I think I just got rid of some maintenance there by accident. Uh, can you leave, please? Like, can I... There we go. So get rid of you as well. Please. Please leave. Please leave. I think I just got rid of some finished printing job for Slap 5. When is that out? December... T wait, what? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So Slap 5 only just finished printing. How many units have we got? Three million. Okay. That's maybe a little excessive, but sure. So let's get some cooks to come in here. Let's have some come in at like six in the morning. And we'll do one, two, three, four. They leave at 10. So the next ones are going to come in at, oh, that's 6 p.m. No, 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 no. Uh, 6 a.m. And apply that. Uh, one, two, three, four can come in at, uh, let's say 11. So 11 a.m. leaving at three. And then... That's probably fine. We probably don't need more than that. We shouldn't need more than that. I can't imagine. Uh, but what I think I will maybe do is I want to duplicate these. And I'm going to have to go into build mode, maybe make the grid a bit smaller. To do that, do that and delete the originals. So that should give us more food for everybody and should let everybody actually, you know, eat. Uh, now, that'll be the support team currently because I have to manage those myself. So, let's see. If the cooks come in, we should immediately see a bit more food go out. Not that much, though. Not that much at all. That's a bit worrying. Also worrying is the fact that half of them didn't bother coming to work. Why didn't half of them come to work? And why are there only two plates of food? What's going on with that, man? Okay, that's that's strange. Six million, five million, five million. Okay, not bad. Why are you guys not coming to work here? I'm really confused by that. I'm really, really confused by the fact that they just don't seem to be coming to work. That's really odd. What if we... Hold on, let it, let it get a little bit light here for a second. I guess they do have a heck of a distance to go, don't they? But only two of them actually do anything. Uh, let me change some of this about a little bit. So let's duplicate you, put you there, put you there. Uh, duplicate that thing there and there so we have a couple more stoves there delete those tables then give me a counter for that spot and that spot does that work not really not not really um but that's that's okay that's that's fine let's go into kitchen stuff and that's an inner corner. I'm looking for an outer corner, right? So something like that, I think. Yeah, so that'll work. Let me get rid of these tables completely here. Because we just don't need them. 
Give me another outer corner. So there, there, and there. And then we need the normal counters. So one, two, three, four of those. And we'll put two sinks right in the middle. We don't need those, but I just want them. And then let me select all of these so that we can get them to be the right color. So the cabinet, I believe is white. I believe the doors are that color. And then the handles, I do not know. I think the handles are that. I think that's right. I think that's right. That looks right. So we'll go with that. So let's see if the cooks actually come in and start doing stuff. Because there's still only two of them. There's still only two of them. I don't know. I guess maybe it's because there's only two fridges. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we need more fridges. I guess we try it. I guess we duplicate the fridge and we'll get one there and there and there and there. There we go. So no, that was the problem. It was the fridges. It was the fridges. Hopefully that'll fix things in the morning then. Hopefully we can actually see like a good amount of food being made for the employees so they'll stop complaining about being hungry. That'd be nice. That, that would be, that'd be lovely. But I'm not going to hold my breath on it. Also, it's 2020. Just as an FYI, it is 2020. This company has been around for what, 20 years at this point? There we go. There's some food production. That, that should keep people a bit happier. I don't think we have enough food production, but that, that looks like it'll keep people a bit happier. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more people going back and forth there. I feel like, honestly, we need even more cooks, though. But hopefully that'll keep people a bit happier. What are we looking for money here? Looking decent. Obviously, money's going down. Those things aren't selling as much as they were, but that's all right. Does the support team have HR enabled again? No, they don't. You are not back for another two months. Okay. That's totally fine. That is totally, totally fine. Uh, let's have a look at these companies again. Let's see if we can get uh, Shine Productions to sell me the next stop OS 6 yet. No. No, they won't. What about Slide Spin Studios? Will you give me the X? No. That's frustrating. What about Door X? Oh yeah, you'll give me that one because you haven't done anything with it in a long time. Man, I really... I really want to buy those operating systems. I want to buy them just to stop them from competing with me. And I know that's a terrible thing to do. That's terrible business. But it's business. You know what I mean? I mean, we are, we are getting to the point though where... It's starting to look like we will end up with enough money to just buy their company. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's getting to that point. I'm also thinking these cooks here are going to come in at... Uh, 9 a.m. And then we're going to have one, two, three, four more come in at... I guess 12 a.m.? No, 12 p.m. And then leave it four. So that should mean that at one, for an hour we have like eight cooks, which we don't have enough stoves for that, but hopefully we can make that work. Uh, so Slapple Sites just got released. Is it any good? It's good, which is nice. So that's the follow up to Slapple Network 20XX. Which only sold 9,000 units. Slap for Gold, admittedly, didn't sell much either. Slap for Gold 2 also didn't sell much. So it seems that content management systems are not going to sell much. Uh, which is interesting because we spent over half a million pounds making that. But we'll find out what happens with it. We'll find out what happens with it. Hopefully something good. 
hopefully something good. There's no guarantee here, but let's have a look at our profits. Do they go up? They do not. Let me guess. No money. No money. No money at all. That's depressing. Do we have anyone, uh, anything here that's not being used? Slap 3 has no active users. Let's cancel support for that. Pro Evolution Slapping is still making money, so we'll not bother canceling that. And there we go. The cooks are in. Cook can't find a stove. Interesting. I mean, that's, that's kind of going to happen. I guess we could maybe give them another stove. I guess, I guess that wouldn't hurt. So if we maybe move that to there and then move this to there, we can duplicate those and we can duplicate those. And I just want to see, I want to see more food going on. I want to see more people using the canteen, you know? That's the goal here. Get people, get people eating, make them happy, keep them happy. Although admittedly, it's looking like the cleaners could, could maybe, maybe be doing a better job. The place is starting to look a little bit filthy, but we'll see. Hopefully today's a better day. Hopefully the cooks don't start complaining again. Doesn't look like they're gonna. Oh yeah. That's, that's looking much, much better there. Yeah, we have a decent number of people coming and going here, which is exactly what we wanted, so... That's nice. That'll keep my employees a bit happier now that they can actually get a meal. Although, I mean, by the time you get to the canteen, you're really ready for that meal, you know? Like, you have to run across this big courtyard to just get your food. Anyone upstairs has it a lot easier, really. Like, they can just walk around. Which is weird to look at. I, oh, wait, I realize... A lot of you might be going... No, you're actually just going downstairs. Are they going up the elevator on this side and then walking around because it's easier than going outside? I mean, it's technically going to take longer because you're kind of following the curve around rather than going direct, but that's, that's so me. You know, avoid going outside at all costs. I'm kind of proud of them, if anything. I am, I am kind of proud of them, if anything, so well done. Well done on that one. Uh, in other news, let's stop marketing SOS. I think it's kind of dead in the water. Uh, let's get a review in for SOS 2. We'll see how that's starting to look. It's still a couple of years out, which is fine. So if it's looking a bit garbage, then that's all right. It's actually a 7.4 and it's, it's not even in beta. So that right there is amazing news. That's amazing news. SOS 2 might end up being our first great piece of software. And again, it is it is several years out. You know what I mean? Like it's several years out. Uh, let's hire some cleaning here and get them to come in. Let's just fill up this page with cleaning and get them to come in at... I'm going to say 6 a.m. So they can do a good bit of cleaning before anyone actually gets to the building. Hopefully. Hopefully that's how that'll work. Because I can't imagine the employees are happy with the fact that the place is filthy. Also, I realized, I, I realized this when I was building the second floor, which we haven't done anything with yet other than the extra server bit. But I realized this. Um, having the big outdoor corridor, corridor, courtyard, means that there's so much space there that we don't actually have to clean. It doesn't get filthy out there. Which is actually kind of nice, to be honest. So, there's that. The downside, I suppose, is that it takes so long for my employees to go anywhere or do anything. That's a pretty big downside, I suppose. Also, no marketing and Pro Evo slapping this month because the core team was on vacation. That might hurt us a little bit. It didn't. Okay. Can't deal with the load from Slap 4. That's on the main server, isn't it? Wait. Why is Slap 4 on the hosting server? Redelegate that to the main server, please. There we go. 
So distro. Distro's actually looking all right there. I think digital distribution's gone down a little bit. Yeah, it has. It sank down a little bit there. I assume it was so high at one point because we were selling so much. Which, to be fair, is a good reason to have your, uh, your servers have trouble. I'm also realizing that we may need more maintenance. Although I think we may have just, yeah, I think maintenance is, is working on those, which is good. I'm thinking in general, we just need more support staff. Not the support team as such, but like the, the maintenance guys and the IT guys. Because we're seeing a lot of problems rise up from time to time. So maybe more support team, uh, more support staff need to come in earlier or later. Also, we just lost money. Pro Evolution slapping had a massive drop off there. Admittedly, 1.6 million units isn't bad, but last month didn't make anything. That's worrying. There's nothing to port it to. What is it? What does it use? Like, what is it? What does it actually use? Is it Tripe Engine 2? It is. Okay, let's be a little bit bold here with our company, right? Let's be a little bit bold. Let me look at all of these console operating systems, right? So all of these console operating systems, you know what? Even the PC ones, every single operating system we can put this on because Tripe Engine 2 is over five years old at this point, right? It's over five years old. So we're going to port it to everything and then every game that was released on it can be ported to everything as well because every game that was released for it at this point is about a year old at least and my thinking here is hey you know we release everything on mobile first and then a couple of years later we'll port it to everything else once they stop making money so in theory this could be did i is it tripe engine two or three tripe engine two we're working on tripe engine four for october 2021 and then Slapple Network for July 2020, or Slapple Sites 2 for July 2022. So yeah, I'm curious to see how Tripe Engine 2, I, I want to see if it actually sells anything here. Now that it's slowly being ported. Because it might, it actually did 1 million right there. So porting it to everything else, in theory, what we're going to see is that we can then move Mobile Quest 3 and Pro Evolution Slapping to all of those systems as well. Let's do a little bit more marketing for this. Let's say 15,000. Let's do 15,000 in marketing for Tripe Engine 2. Even though we are technically marketing Tripe Engine 3 through the uh, project management, which is kind of silly. But 1.9 million on Tripe Engine 2. Like, th this seems like an interesting way to do things. It's basically, it's literally taking something that's five years old and saying, okay, it's not selling anymore on our primary platform, which is mobile devices. Let's go ahead and say, you know, release it for everything else. You know, we've, we've done everything we can with the primary platforms. So let's go ahead and say, you know, put it on everything else and then we can restart a marketing campaign for a little bit less than we originally marketed it for and we'll just it'll print money because it was successful to begin with and then when it's done being ported it opens the door for everything else which i think is perfect 2.2 .2 million on tripe engine 2 there almost six years old and we just got 2.2 .2 million on it That's perfect, as far as I'm concerned. That's a perfect way to print money there. I'm actually really pleased with that. It's, I think it's a little bit of a little bit of a scummy thing to do as the company, but to be fair, in softwareing, I have never shied away from scummy business practice. So, hey, consoles and PCs, here's this revolutionary thing: Tripe Engine Two. Wait a minute, isn't Tripe Engine Three out for mo mobile devices though? No. <laughs> What are you, what are you talking about? 
You know what I mean? Also, I think we just lost a bunch of money because I have a feeling that our employees... I mean, well, hold on. Where did we lose money there? Benefits? I guess yearly benefits may have may have kicked in there because it was the end of the end of the thing. Uh, bills went up a little bit. Bills actually seem to be increasing significantly across the board there, which is curious. Oh, education was one as well. Fair enough. Whatever. That's that's fine. We'll see how this works out. This is this is taking a seriously long time to uh, to port though. I guess it, it's 29 operating systems, most of which don't actually have any users, to be fair. So I guess that kind of makes sense, that it's going to take a while to port it to those different operating systems. Jeez, 29 different... Can you imagine? Like, that that's the one thing with Software Inc. in real life that I always, I always look at and go, wow. Uh, the supported operating systems for Tripe Engine 3 no longer have anyone to sell to. And neither does Pro Evolution Slapping. Oh. That's rough. Are there any more mobile devices to port to for this? No. No, there's not. Interesting. That's really interesting. So then Pro Evo Slapping, I guess, technically can go to all of those. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be really interesting to see. Because we, we still haven't actually made a game using Tripe Engine 3, so... Probably want to look into that. We do probably want to look into that. But my priority really is just getting number two ported to everything. Because we're still... I mean, 1.7 million is not bad. But there's just... The thing with uh, the thing with the third one as well is there's no point in porting it to everything because it doesn't open any, any doors for us. The only door that's open for the company right now is the one that lets us develop games using Tripe Engine 3 from mobile devices. Once we have a small library of games there, is when we can go, okay. Oh, hold on. Slap for Gold 3? Really? Slap for Gold 3 already? I feel like the other one was just released. Uh, yeah, it was released a little while ago. It's only good still. I feel like Slap for Gold is just never going to be good. Let's give it like three, 500% dev time in the next one. Yeah. 500%. We'll see how that works out. Hopefully well. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize those. This is so nearly done. So, so close to being done there. It's going to be next month, though, unfortunately. Uh, our next release this year actually looks to be Tripe Engine 4. Wow, okay. Can we push the development on that, like, 300% for the next one? We're releasing these game engines, and we're just not doing anything with them. Like, we're straight up not doing anything with them. Let's see here. Did that make money? It made a hundred thousand, which is nice, I guess. Uh, wait, Slapple Sites went out. Oh, Slapple Sites went out March last year, and yeah, our content management systems do not do well. They do not do well at all. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Anyway, Tripe Engine 2 is done being ported, so... Pro Evo Slapping is gonna go to everything that can support it. And Mobile Quest 3 is gonna do the same. So both of those can be ported to everything that can support them. And then... I think we might want to look into getting uh, a game dev team or two. If we're completely honest here. I think I think it's time. I do think it's time. So... I mean, we have a bit of room. We could use these four spaces here if we really wanted to. So, like, designers, programmers, artists, marketing. 
and just let them handle their own marketing or something? That could be a way to do it. That could be a way to do it. And I think, honestly, that's what we're going to do. So let's get the grid to align this wall. And let's see what we can do in terms of office space just here. So we'll use the glass tables because we can. We'll go one, two, one, two. No, we can't do... Okay, we'll do this kind of thing then. So these don't need to be huge spaces, I don't think. I really don't think it's necessary to have a huge team on these. So something like that. And that will be designers, for example. Or what 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 would this be? Because the middle so this is the middle right here. This this wall is like the middle of this side of the building. So that'll be Yeah, that'll be designers or something. So get them their desks. So three uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's a decent number. That is a decent number. Uh, I want to just divide all those up a little bit. So everyone has their own workspace. So just something like that. We can get rid of that one. That wasn't uh, meant to be there. So those are all divided up. We're going to go ahead and do that, that, that. Get one there. And then we just need the horizontal ones at this point. So along there. Then through the middle. And through the middle once again. So basically what we need to do here is we design this entire side. And that'll be game dev 1. We copy it all. And we paste it over there. And that'll be game dev 2. So that's going to be the designers. Let's do the rest of it.